All right, it's 2 a.m. and I'm at 19.2 right now. I'm using Electrify's uh, deck right now. All right, let's do this. Oh yeah! Woo! Oh. Three crown, baby. Oh my goodness. Mmm, it's an orange juice. So let's show you guys my 20th match. It's Mind and Control versus Mind and Control. He's got Ice Spirit instead of my Ice Golem. I have Bats instead of Electro Wizard. They're both kind of range, take care of all that stuff, and the DPS. And then instead of the Knight, I have the Goblins because they take care of melee units and all that stuff. Plus, I like them better because they can rush things really good. So right off the bat, I'm going with Ice Golem and Bats, and he doesn't have much to counter. He has a Knight, but my Bats still reach the tower. He's got a Bandit going in. That's telling me that I think that there's a Miner. Yes, there's a Miner, so it's a Miner control. I mispredicted his uh, Miner plant, but I did plant the Goblins to take out the Miner. And then kind of so that when they go up, they're going to tank the Bandit's dash. To support my Inferno Dragon, what I'm doing is putting the Miner to on top of the Electro Wizard. And then I'm gonna zap him. That's enough that my miner survives. Tanks a couple hits for my bandit. Bandit reaches the tower, not even a minute in, and this is pretty much the first counter push, and I've already dealt over a thousand damage. He's got a bandit in. Now notice where I'm planting my ice golem. It's gonna be right on top of the bandit. That way, she doesn't have the ability to dash. She has no distance to dash. She's not gonna deal the full damage. My ice golem survives, but I was gonna counter push with my bats, but he planted a really good ice spirit. So rotations reset. I am up one elixir. So I'm planting a bandit in the very front. She's gonna tank for my miner, and he doesn't plant the knight in time to tank my miner. So my miner is tanking for the goblins. The goblin gets one stabbing. That means so much right now. And I'm thinking of planting down the inferno dragon to take care of the knight. That way I have my ice golem to tank for the miner, but I did miss it. At least my ice golem is still providing value because it tanks that bandit's dash attack. And then with the Inferno Dragon going in, I want to support all of my bats with my Miner. And look at that, he's forced to use an Electro Wizard. And then I'm going to zap to give him that extra edge because the Electro Wizard would have just stunned my Inferno Dragon really fast. So look at that, just because I zapped, that Inferno Dragon stayed alive, took care of that tank, and finishes off the tower. One minute left, both of my towers are really full health. So there's not much to do. Usually this deck's a little bit more fast paced, a little bit more aggressive. And this is the first time using poison, so those goblins were a waste. So I, I kind of used the Inferno Dragon because I want to take care of the miner and then counterattack on the right side. And then with my bandit going in, I supported her with bats, takes care of that bandit. Then I put the ice golem in the center, tanks the king tower and everything. And that Electro Wizard died and my bandit is still alive. That's the most valued bandit ever. She took care of three units, she's still alive, dashes the tower and she's still smacking it while the Princess Tower is targeted onto my Inferno Dragon. 25 seconds left and this guy hasn't touched my tower very much yet. He's got poison to take care of the bats and my goblins, but my Inferno Dragon's locked on. And that is good game for my 20th win, Minor Control versus Minor Control. My deck just countered his deck because I could cycle things faster. All right, so this is my 11th match against a three Musketeer deck. And I don't know it's a three Musketeer deck yet, but we'll find out. Starting off the match, I have a really good hand. I have the Ice Golem, I can plant him in the back. Right now, I'm gonna s start off a little bit slow because I don't know what he has yet. Level 6 Elixir Pump. 99% of the time, when you see a level 6 Elixir Pump, that tells me that it's a really, really skilled 3 Musketeer user. So what I'm doing is I'm putting my Goblins in the back, that way I can cycle to my Miner really fast to take care of that Elixir Pump, and I'm not gonna waste that Miner tanking both towers. I'm gonna plant the Bandit on the right side to take care of the tower, pressure, adding pressure. He had to use the Battle Ram. Meanwhile, my uh, Miner was tanking both towers, so my Goblin did reach the left tower. Ice Golem is still at full health. Gets a couple swings in. That is so value. And those two barbarians from the battle realm don't even make it to my tower. Just look at that. That ice golem did so much damage. It did like 300 damage. He's got three musketeers. Okay. Okay. Now it's on. So I'm gonna use zap. Hopefully he doesn't have heal. I haven't seen heal yet because it's been. It just recently got balanced. So most likely it's not heal. So I'm gonna spam it with um, goblins and bats just to overwhelm the musketeers. They don't have enough. But he had zap spell and that messed me up but I still defended those three musketeers with heal really effectively. Then my bandit dashes in with an ice spirit right before it hits the tower and the knight tanks everything. And then I'm gonna use my inferno dragon instead of my ice golem because that way I can counter push with the inferno dragon. So I'm putting him a little bit closer to the back to bank everything. Then I'm gonna use my ice golem to push him forward a little bit and pull my inferno dragon upwards. And then now I'm waiting for him. I'm, I'm really cautious for the three musketeers or um, the elixir pump, so I'm waiting, I'm saving my miner for all that stuff. Use zap just to take care of the minion horde. It was inevitable that my inferno dragon was gonna die. 
Um, I haven't seen any pumps yet, so I put down my miner, and I'm putting a lot of pressure with goblins. He was forced to use the battle ram, takes out the battle ram, and that miner is still dealing so much damage to the tower. So that one barbarian is not going to make it. Right now, what I want to do is I want to use a bandit, and then I'm going to support her with the bats. That's the thing, the beauty of this deck is that, look at the timing of that. That ice golem tanked everything, <laughs> but he used the ice spirit, takes care of the bats. Meanwhile, on the right side, I did use my miner to pressure the pump and take damage to the right side. So it's like, he can split his musketeers, but I'm going to split my stuff too. And I'm going to really add a lot of pressure, poison in on the right side and zap. I'm not going to give him the opportunity. I want, I want him to heal because I have goblins and I have bats to take care of the musketeers. And then on the right side, I have ice golem and bats to take care of that push. He's not getting through at all, and I'm dealing so much damage on both sides of the tower. Um, <laughs> look at that, one bat survived, did so much damage on that tower because my miner was tanking the middle. So he was kind of at a disadvantage there. And then with poison, I'm going to slowly chip him out. So the key to three musketeers is you always have to take care of the pump. You're going to need to use miner for that, and you're going to have to use poison. Don't use poison on just the pump. If you can use poison with anything else, like if you can take out the bats and the pump, then it's worth it or miner, don't just waste the miner because they're gonna have something to counter it. So send in bats, send in goblins on both sides while the miner's tanking both towers and yeah, just keep adding pressure. And yeah, so they won't have enough time to send in that many three musketeers all while you're like slowly chipping away at both towers. So in this meta, you're gonna see a lot of bridge spam still. It's still very, very effective. I notice I see bridge spam more in the later hours and then in the daytime, at least in US, I see more uh, expos. So I'm going off with the miner in the back, poison for the night witch, and then bandit to kind of support it because the miner was tanking it. But I missed the poison, I activated the king tower, and it's not looking good because my bats, my goblins are gonna get destroyed so hard for that. With that ice spirit, it's kind of trouble, so I can't plant down my bats yet, so I had to plant down that ice golem to tank the bandit. And notice how I planted the, the ice golem right? on top of the bandit, not away from the bandit because she would have dashed and she would have destroyed that ice golem. So I've got the bats, one bat will deal one hit and I love it. With the balance change, that one bat is so, so money. So he plants a night witch in the back and I'm debating to use poison and then I remembered every time I use poison when it's not double elixir time, I lose. So then I, I realized, okay, I'm not. I'm not going to use poison. I'm going to wait until they accumulate more troops, that way then I can justify using poison. I'm going to use the Inferno Dragon to take care of the Ice Golem, and then the Bandit going to dash on everything. And look at how the timing where I planted the Ice Golem so that it tanked the Night Witch and his Bandit. Then I planted on the Goblins to tank the Bandit so that she couldn't smack my Bandit. My Bandit's still alive at full health. I send in my Miner, but it's not enough. That Battle Ram tanks everything and that king tower is activated it's so annoying but that was my mistake that inferno dragon is still alive and he took out the barbarians from the battle room. that's not too bad but it's going to be an uphill battle with that activated king tower i don't really have a good rotation right now because i have bats but i don't have anything to support it so i have to cycle to my bandit that's why i put the bats a little bit farther back so that my bandit could tank for everything and with the ice golem popping it took care of my bats so now i'm waiting for that bandit to get closer right when it's at the bridge i'm going to put down the ice golem on the right side oh i missed planted the ice golem or rather i hesitated because i was thinking oh maybe i'll put the ice golem in the middle so it'll pull the night witch but i realized that i needed to defend on the other side too so i've got ice golem and bandit and meanwhile i'm pressuring on the left side i didn't really deal that much damage but i'm trying to really really defend against this this bridge spam right now on the right side so i had to use the miner you almost never want to use the miner on defense but i didn't really have any other ground troops i noticed that he was spamming things really really fast so uh, i was just slowly building positive elixir trades and I'm, I'm just waiting for the right opportunity okay he poisoned now he has no elixir well he had two elixir and I'm planting the goblins on the top. Now is my chance to counterattack on the left side. I'm gonna go in really hard. Miner, uh, bats, bandit. I guess spirit takes care of my bats, so that's bad. So my bandit connects to the tower, deals all that damage, and I'm trying to focus on the right side defending, but the battle round did connect. It wasn't charged, so that's fine. Bandit doesn't connect. Um, it was worth it to take all that damage on my tower because I, I did like a thousand damage on his but I misplanted my miner I hesitated you never hesitate so his bandit connected to my tower but I'm looking really good right now he planted night witch so that's when I planted the poison chip the tower the magic number for poison is 240 you want the tower at 240 so you can poison it I want to plant down my goblins but I'm waiting for the log there it is 
I zapped everything to slow down the battle ram. And then notice how I planted that ice golem on the front of my tower. I did that on purpose so that it blocks the battle ram. Just buying my tower time to kill it before it can connect to my tower. My batter or my bandit connects to his ice golem, but his bandit is still alive, so I had to plant my bandit on top of his. And that prediction log destroyed my goblins. But I did have bats for that. I should have planted the ice golem instead of bats because those barbarians deal so much damage. 275. I just need one minor hit, one zap, whatever, and that poison will finish off the tower. This deck is really good against bridge spam. You've got the ice golem to tank the bandit. You've got poison to take out the night witch. You've got bats for all the DPS to destroy the night witch, destroy the bandit, destroy the barbarians, and you have the goblins tank for every single unit too. Just keep chipping away and find that opportunity to get that bandit to connect to the tower. Another thing I'm seeing is golems, pekkas, all these beatdown decks. With the pekkas, you can expect a battle ram, sometimes even three musketeers. Uh, sometimes you might even see a graveyard. It's a little outdated because graveyard got nerfed, it only spawns 15 skeletons. But look at me go in really aggressively. Miner in the front with the bats, he has a zap. That's really bad. And that's the reason why I'm carrying zap in this deck is because the, z the bats are so meta now and the zap just provides so much value for when you send in the miner and you gotta zap the bats away or something like that. He's got a peck already so I put down the inferno dragon. I messed up here. I shouldn't have used that ice golem to kite that P.E.K.K.A. because that inferno dragon retargeted it from it. So I had to use the bats to protect my inferno dragon because that archer was just destroying it. And then she's still alive or it's still alive, whatever gender. Miner's going in tanking for everything. The reason why I did that, I knew the Inferno Dragon was gonna die anyways, but I wanted to apply a lot of pressure, force him to counter, but he didn't. He had the bandit in the front, and then again, I'm planting the Ice Golem in front of the bandit. Not away from the bandit, but in front of it. And then the bandit finishes off, dashes to the archer, and then onto the tower. If it can survive, not quite, use the Electro Wizard. That was a really bad trade. Now I have the Elixir advantage. I'm going in all in with the bats, with the goblins, but he had zap. I, I forgot he had zap. I shouldn't have used the bats. There goes my positive trade and we're kind of even elixir. Actually, he's two elixir ahead, but that's fine. Now I'm saving my Inferno Dragon specifically for that P.E.K.K.A. And all of my other units are just to protect my Inferno Dragon. He's got the P.E.K.K.A. in the very back. This is when you strike. You go in really hard. I went in with a Miner on the right side. Then I needed to cycle to something fast. Bats, Goblins, Bandit, something. That's why I planted the Ice Golem on the bottom left so I could cycle back to my Bandit. Takes out those Archers and everything. Zap away the Bats. Bandit dashes onto the tower. Deals so much damage. And then I still have the Ice Golem. He spent so much Elixir on the right side. This is what you want to do with this deck. Every time they plant a P.E.K.K.A. or a Golem in the back, you rush the other side really hard because you have an Inferno Dragon. So he's got an Electro Wizard for that, and I'm going to protect it with my bat. So that Electro Wizard is going to split his attack and he's going to deal like almost no damage. And then mine are going in to tank for my bats and my Inferno Dragon. Zap those bats, look at those bats deal so much damage. And in the meanwhile, I'm still applying pressure on the right side. He had to use Archers, and then he had to use the Bandit to take care of my one Bandit. Inferno Dragon locks on, destroys the tower. And then my Ice Golem just distracts the Bandit. Bats take it out. With the goblins, the battle ram has no chance to connect. I've got everything going in. Miner going in to take care of those archers so that my bandit can connect, but he had the ice wizard. But that's okay, both of my towers are still at full health. Against P.E.K.K.A. and Golem decks, poison, minor control decks, uh, just destroy it. They stand no chance. As long as you rush the other side, but don't spend too much elixir, just enough. Like a miner and bandit, miner and bats or ice golem and goblins whatever just rush the other side with five six seven elixir and you'll have enough elixir like an inferno dragon on the other side to take care of their their seven eight elixir tank and that's how you kind of slowly chip them away just keep applying pressure on the opposite lane and never let them build up that elixir pump if they have one because you have miner and you have poison to control the pump here's another deck that i'm seeing a little bit more often hog lightning Cycle, it's got Ice Spirit, uh, Bats, anything that's low elixir, it's it's very cycly. Look at how my Ice Golem's in the front and my Miner's in the very back. That way it's kind of spreads them out in case they have like a Valkyrie or something so they so that she doesn't have the opportunity to splash both units. The placement of the Miner and the Ice Golem's really important. He's going in really aggressively with a uh, Hog on the right side. I know my Inferno Dragon's gonna take care of the Miner uh, or the Mini Peck on the left side, so I'm just throwing everything I have. Goblins, the uh, Bandit and everything. Then I'm gonna support that Bandit, but she died to the Bat. But look at that, it was still worth it. Tower locks onto the Ice Golem, that that one Golem, it's, it's so devastating. It forced him to use the log on one 
third of one third of one goblin. Well, wh whatever. But yeah, so that ice golem was so worth it. Now he doesn't have the log. I'm going in really aggressively. Miner again in the very back, separating it from the bats so they, they can't uh, use too many splash spells. That ice golem was perfect to counter my bats though. So uh, I'm, again, Inferno Dragon does counter in the mini P.E.K.K.A, but he used the bat, so I used Zap. That's why this deck works better with Zap instead of the log, because you're seeing a lot more bats, and bats just destroy the Inferno Dragon and the Miner. And just looking at everything, I notice I need to start chipping away at stuff, so I'm using Poison. But <laughs> that might cost me, because now he's got a really, really big push, so I shouldn't have Poison there. I've got Goblins and the bats to take care of the Hog, but it's not enough with that Electro Wizard, so he dealt quite a bit of damage. Looking at this, I know my priority is to use Miner and Poison, but I can't use those combos too aggressively until it's double Elixir. I need to be conservative so that I have enough Elixir to defend against every time I attack. So again, I'm going with Ice Golem and Miner combo. Ice Golem tanks everything, but this deck just counters mine so well. He's got the mini packet to take care of the Miner and my Ice Golem. He's got the bats, I gotta zap it again. My Bandit just barely survives that mini P.E.K.K.A. He used Lightning. That that was when I knew he had no Elixir. So I'm going in everything. I've got Inferno Dragon and the Miner, but he had the Electro Wizard. And that just stopped my push completely. The Inferno Dragon could barely touch the tower. Going with Bandit, I'm planting her at just the distance so that she charges onto the Ice Golem. I'm just throwing everything bats and... Uh, all the high DPS. I've got two bandits now. He's in for a lot of trouble. He does have bats. Zapped in time though. But look at that. That ice golem and the log destroys my bandit. But my miner's still alive at full health. He was so focused on those two bandits that he couldn't address that one miner and he dealt so much damage. 290 health. I just need to get it to 240 for poison. I just need to use miner or the zap to take care of the tower and that is good game. So right up until the end. I was trying to defend with as little elixir as possible and that's when I was able to build up that massive push. Two bandits, just everything, so many bandits on the map to distract him that he couldn't address my miner and dealt the full 500 damage to the tower. Then I was able to slowly poison him out and all that. So I don't really have any matches with Expo so I played against my clanmate. I find that there's not that many Expos at night. I guess it's different metas at different time zones. Um, I'm going in really hard with minor goblin combo, but he had the log to shut it down and the mini P.E.K.K.A. The mini P.E.K.K.A. just destroys the miner, so I'm using the bats to take care of that mini P.E.K.K.A. And I know that if he's not going to do anything, it's going to get one hit on the tower. And I'm kind of in the lead right now, I'm down one elixir, but I do have tower damage. 300 tower damage and he hasn't touched mine yet, there's the expo. And this is where the ice golem comes in. The ice golem, the bandit, the miner, they all can tank for the expo, and then you have the Inferno Dragon and the Bandit to take out the Expo and any distraction units, um, skeletons, bats, you have Zap for that so that it clears the path for your Inferno Dragon or your Bandit. Um, going in, he has nothing. I'm not worried. I know that he doesn't have the Ice Wizard in rotation anymore. That's why my bats are safe. Never mind. <laughs> he had Fireball for my bats, but he didn't hit my... Minor, so look at all that damage that's being dealt. Looking really right now, I've dealt a thousand damage and he hasn't touched my tower yet. So I'm going in again with a really aggressive push. Ice Golem and Goblins. Anything Ice Golem or Miner paired with a Bandit or Goblins or Bats, depending on what your opponent has. He had the Ice Golem for my Bandit though. And I kept, here's my mistake. I kept planting that Miner in that same spot. So he knew to put the Mini P.E.K.K.A there. My priority right now is to take care of the mini P.E.K.K.A, so I had to use my bats, and then I need to use my Ice Golem to tank that, but I planted it a little bit too slowly, so I had to use Zap, and I should have planted the Ice Golem a lot lower, because there's no no way that that mini P.E.K.K.A should have even touched my Ice Golem. That was my mistake there, so that one mistake cost me 500 damage on the tower. And then here's another mistake that I made. I planted my goblins way too early. That, look at that Ice Spirit, it's destroying my goblins. My tower wasn't even within range of it, so I had to use my Inferno Dragon. I didn't have to, but I wanted to counterattack, so I'm planting the Ice Golem in the front. It's going to tank from my Inferno Dragon and my Miner. Look at that, again, I, I made that same mistake. I planted the Miner in the same spot. You need to keep changing it up. I should have planted it on, on the top right, because at this point, I know he doesn't have Tornado. So, I, I just need to change up the Miner rotation, and he kept guessing it. I could have dealt a lot more damage. I know his Ice Wizard's on the bottom right, so I'm putting my Miner on the top left, 
and then again, look at that. The key to defending against Expo is using your Ice Golem to tank for everything. And then the Bandit to, just to take out the Expo and all that stuff. He's got Ice Wizard, everything to defend against it. And I know that the Ice Wizard is targeted onto my Inferno Dragon right now. I'm zapping the bats. Since it's still targeted onto my Ice Golem or my Inferno Dragon, that's when I use the bats on the Ice Wizard. Look at that. The Ice Wizard can't splash onto my bats because it's on the Dragon. But Bandit takes care of the Ice Wizard, dash in, and this looks like it's going to be a good game. 600 health, I just need to chip it a little bit more. I've got the tower around 500 health. This is looking like it's going to be a very close match. I just need to send in the Miner to deal a little bit more damage. 240 is the magic number for poison. 251. Okay, that's that's fine, I'll take it. Because 2, 240 plus zap, and that is good game. So I'm not worried about anything. He could plant down the expo and I'll still poison him out. And that's how you defend against the expo. The key is going to be your ice golem to tank. And the bandit and the inferno dragon to take out the expo. And you're going to need the zap and some other support units to clear the path. So that's it. There is no magic deck. There's no magical video that will teach you in one day how to reach 20 wins. It's a lot of work. I hope you guys learned how to use this deck. Um, to keep in mind, it might not always work. The meta is always shifting. The first day, the meta was completely different from what it is right now. And even in the daytime, the meta was completely different. So thanks for watching and good luck to everyone in the challenges. Oh yeah! Oh, I shouldn't be so loud. It's 2 a.m.